Hey guys, welcome back to the Science Kit. Here are six amazing science experiments for kids that you could do from home. Number one, the rainbow walking water. We're gonna do the walking water. We're very excited. This is a fun experiment for kids. To get started, we need seven clear cups. We'll also need water, blue, red, yellow food coloring, and some paper towels. And that's really it. It's super easy. So we'll start filling every other cup halfway. Okay, let's get to pouring. Now start with our food color. First, let's start with red. We're gonna unscrew it. We'll put five drops of food color. We're gonna put red in the first one and the last one. Now steal yellow. Let's uncap it. Now let's add blue. Which is this color, let's uncap it. Next step, we need to fold our paper towels. We folded six paper towels like this. Next, you want to fold them in half. And then place them in the cups like this. Like that. Now we're going to let this sit for like two hours. Here's what our cups look like after. We actually let these sit overnight. Now we think they're beautiful. The empty cups filled up with water. And they mix colors. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red. There's all the colors of the rainbow. And this happened because of capillary action. This was a fun and easy project. You should try it too. Number two, the salt water density experiment. Two. 
Now we're going to pour hot water in each of the glasses. My mom's going to help me with this. Now give it a good stir to dissolve your salt. Now we're going to add the food coloring. Two or three drops is fine for each glass. My hands are getting warm. Give it another stir. Take your syringe and fill it up one fourth with the color that contains no salt. Now with the color with the least salt. You're gonna have to do this very slow and carefully. This is what we have so far. You can see blue, green, and red. And here's what we have, guys. Look at how awesome. All of the colors stay separated. Here's a close up, guys. The colors don't mix because of the salt density. I had so much fun doing this project. I hope you do too. Number three Glow in the Dark Slime. Best to use your hands to mix. 
So here's what my slime looks like. I think it's more like putty than slime. We made some glow-in-the-dark putty today and some glow-in-the-dark um, slime. It's still so much fun to play with. And here's what it looks like when we turned off the light. It really does glow. We had to hold ours up in light first. Number four, fireworks in a jar. Hey guys, it's Mia here. Today, we're gonna do fireworks in a jar. All we need is a jar full of water, vegetable oil, and some food coloring, and a fork. I have three tablespoons in oil with oil in here. So first, we're gonna do A few drops of each color. Now I'm just taking my fork and breaking up the food line. Just give it a little stir. Now I'm going to take this little hole and pour it into here. Here's what it looks like at first. But after a few minutes, we held it up to the light and this is what we saw. The color settles. Isn't it amazing? Wow, so beautiful. Number five, peppermint water. Hey guys, and it's me here. And today we're going to do the peppermint and water. We got this idea from Wiz Kids Science. We love them. This is a really fun and easy experiment. All we need is a few things. Water, a bowl, and some peppermints. I'm not pouring my water in a shallow dish. I'm gonna pour enough water this to cover the peppermint. Next, I'm going to place my peppermints in the bowl. Since peppermints are made of sugar, they dissolve in water. And you can see the colors from the peppermints. We think it's amazing. What do you guys think? Number six, glow stick art. Hi guys, it's Mia, the science kid. And today we're back with a whole new video. We're gonna call it glow stick art. Have you ever wondered what's in a glow stick? Well, we're about to find out. And it's probably going to be really cool. I have all these colored glow sticks here. First, we're going to snap them to activate them. And it's going to be so cool. We're going to bring them in the dark to, so you can see. 
and then we're gonna cut all the tops open so we can see what's inside. And then we're gonna do some art. First, before we get started, I want to make sure I get all my safety gear on. I'm gonna wear gloves and glasses for this, and I suggest you do the same. So I'm gonna go get my gloves. Okay, I'm back with my gloves. Now, we're gonna put my gloves on, and then we're gonna get started, okay? Trying to get my gloves on. They're super sticky, so. I'm gonna wear gloves and goggles for this part. I'm gonna put mine on right now. You should put yours on too, so we can do this together. You just copy after me, okay? You don't want this stuff inside the gloves to, to touch your skin because who knows what could be in there. It could be anything. Okay, I'm gonna snap my glow sticks now and activate them. This is gonna be so cool, guys. This one's orange. I'm gonna put it in the second one because orange is the second color. Next, I'm gonna do a mystery color. I think it's blue. What do you think? Comment down below. Let's see if I'm right. It was blue. Here's what our glow sticks look like when we took them in the dark room. This is what the blue really looked like. It's really bright. Look how bright it is. Now we're gonna cut them open. This is so exciting, guys. First, make sure you're wearing your goggles and gloves. You want to just snip the top off just like this. But I'm going to have my mom do this part for me. I suggest you, you get a grown-up to help you too. So, let's pour these in containers. First, we're starting with red. And I'm going to paint a picture with these. So it's going to be so cool. Oh, I just mixed one. <laughs> I just mixed one doing this. The pink is my favorite color. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, the glass from inside came out. That's why you should wear gloves and goggles. Now we're gonna do the blue. I bet we can hardly see this one. It's like a clear one. This is so weird. Oh, the glass came out of this one, too. Now for the fun part. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to paint. We're going to paint a picture with these like they're paint. And this is what we're going to paint on. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because I have a really special glow surprise. I'll show you after I paint my picture. Let's paint. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's go find out if it works. Okay guys, here's my finished project. My pink isn't glowing very much, but I still think it's really cool. And it was super fun. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if there's an experiment you want me to try. Bye for now!